Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Oshale here, and today's video is a really, really special. I am so excited to announce I started a book club. Yes, yes, I have started a book club, and this has been something that I've wanted to do for such a long time, for years, and this year just feels right, and it just feels like the right time and I cannot wait for you guys to go on this journey with me. I will be hosting this book club with two other lovely ladies here on booktube that have graciously decided to join with me and kind of pioneer this with me. My lovely, lovely hosts, let me introduce them to you. First up is Brittany from Melanin Eclectic. She is a jack of all trades, you guys. Her channel is fantastic and her makeup is flawless. She's so beautiful. She has amazing, amazing videos and really, really unique reading taste, at least to me, because I'm not really into a lot of science fiction and sci-fi. I love fantasy, but I'm not as familiar with science fiction and, and sci-fi and historical, and that is like her Thing. She also was really innovative with coming up with the makeup tutorial book reviews. I've seen those floating around booktube, but I know for a fact that she was the one who started doing them because I've been following her channel for a while. And she comes up with these brilliant makeup like looks while she reviews and talks about books and it is so amazing. She is also really, really talented. She's the one who made our banner for our book club page. All the artwork is hers. She has her own Etsy page. She's really into planning so she has planner videos and she creates amazing stickers in her Etsy shop. So if you're really into stickers and you can't find any stickers for black girls that you know showcase us and all of our beauty and diversity she has a ton of great stickers on her Etsy shop so definitely go check that out and she's into all things planner like I said so if you're really into bullet journaling and planning videos she has that galore on her channel next to all of the makeup stuff with all of the book stuff like I said she is a jack of all trades and I'm so happy that she is joining me on hosting this book club and yeah she's a great great person and I'm just really happy that we have connected and found each other in this little booktube world. Next up is the lovely and beautiful and just, oh, I don't know, I just, I can't think of the right word to describe her, but all things just warm and yet wise in someone, you know, fairly young, and that is Troy Nicole of Cole's Book Corner. And Troy is a lovely, lovely human. I am just, I'm in awe of her. She's so wise and warm and really has really interesting things to say on her channel. I appreciate how much she's pushed past social anxiety to still really be on this platform with the rest of us, sharing her ideas and her thoughts on the books that she loves and the books that she's currently reading. I think her videos are very unique and she's very soft-spoken but her words hold a lot of weight and her opinions are very important and she's very much valued here on this platform. She actually started her channel around the same time that I did which is so interesting that we never ran into each other before now but she definitely deserves way more subscribers than she has I love her minimalistic setup and that she doesn't film in front of a bookshelf but in fact in her college dorm room just kind of sitting there quietly contemplating giving us her thoughts and her ideas and I just really appreciate that about her and her channel it definitely gives a different vibe to what goes on here and what is the norm here on booktube and I'm so glad that we found each other and I cannot wait for us to go on this journey together so definitely go check these girls out and I'm so excited and so happy that we have all come together and partnered to do this together so I introduce to you guys a seat at the table book club Yes, and yes, I was inspired by the album by Solange that uh, she released in 2016 with the same name, A Seat at the Table. And the idea behind this book club was really just, I want to practice what I preach. You know, I came out with a great video talking about our community here on BookTube and more specifically the Black BookTube community and all of our allies and supporters. And feeling as though, even though we're not necessarily being granted or allowed a seat at the table 
so to speak, that we want to create our own, we want to foster our own community and kind of pour into our own. There are a lot of amazing things happening the next few months. We have the Blackathon, which I'm so excited about and I cannot wait for this amazing readathon that was thought up by Jessie at Books in Bowties and I absolutely adore her and her channel and I believe she will be hosting this readathon with Francine Simone, I believe is her channel name, as well as Lauren at the Novel Lush. So I'm super excited for this readathon. I cannot wait. And then, of course, we have Read Soul Lit, which, of course, will be happening during February, also known as Black History Month. And that, as always, is hosted by Dee Dee over at Brown Girl Reading. And I absolutely adore her and her channel. I have admired her for many, many, many years. And I'm just so excited about that coming up as it does every year for the past several years. Years now so there are a lot of amazing things happening in our community and I just wanted to kind of add to all the amazingness that is going on and um, yeah I didn't even know these amazing things were going on because this book club has been in my mind and in the works for gosh over a month now and it was just so pleasant to see that other creatives are doing amazing things as well and pouring into our community and building our community so I'm so glad to be a part of this amazing movement that is going on right now so a seat at the table book club and this is not just any table this is our table the one that we are building with our own efforts and our diverse and creative ideas and thoughts and all of our projects and all of our hearts and just oh i love it i'm so excited for this table of our own making this is a book club for everyone that believes that the diversity and the representation of all of us within the African diaspora is incredibly important and needs to be supported and upheld. I'm so proud to do my part, what little I can, to bring attention to books that are written by authors, black authors, throughout the diaspora. In this book club, we will read books by black authors from all over the world, and I cannot wait to do this with you all. I'm excited to read their stories and to discover their voices. Once a month, you all will have the opportunity to vote on one of three selections to then decide our book of the month. Since this is the first that you're hearing of all of this, Troy Nicole, Brittany, and I have already selected the book of the month for December. And I know that you guys haven't had much time to read it with us, and I do apologize for the late notice, but we kind of wanted to jump start things ourselves because we will be having a live show discussion, which we want all of you to join us for. So for those of you who have either read this book or have it on your TBRs, this will be a great opportunity to hear our thoughts on it and hear a more in-depth discussion slash review. And the book for December was Becoming Michelle by Michelle Obama. We were just all really just excited to read this read. It was so hyped and so well deserving of the hype when it came out at the end of 2018. And we've all had an amazing reading experience with this particular novel. I will highly, highly recommend the audiobook, which is read by none other than Michelle Obama herself. So that was our December book, and we will be having a live show to discuss all things Becoming Michelle on Sunday, January 13th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please join us this Sunday once again. That is the 13th of this month at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live show where Troy, Nicole, Brady, and I will be sitting down to discuss all things Becoming Michelle, all the things we loved, things that we didn't love as much, how we felt about the overall story arc, how we felt about just how Michelle Obama told her own story in her own words, etc, etc. We cannot wait to dive into this read, dissect it, discuss it, and just share it with you all. So once again, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. I cannot wait to see you there. Now let's move on to January. So right now on our Goodreads page, which is linked down below in my description box, definitely go click on that link, join our book club, and get ready for the fun. Because right now I have all three of the options listed for January. Book number one, book number two, and book number three. I cannot wait to see which book that you guys choose and what will become our book of the month for January 2019. 
Pick number one is Black God's Drum, which is a science fiction fantasy by, I, I know I'm not going to say this, this author's name right, but it is P. Daly Clark, I think? And P. Daly Clark brings an alternate Orisha New Orleans that includes airships. I mean, hello, how could you want to pass this up? You don't. You don't. And that's just the first pick. In an alternate New Orleans caught in the tangle of the American Civil War, the wall-scaling girl named Creeper yearns to escape the streets for the air, in particular by earning a spot aboard the airship Midnight Robber. Creeper plans to earn Captain Anne Marie's trust with information she discovers about a Haitian scientist and a mysterious weapon he calls the Black God's Drums. But Creeper also has a secret herself. Oya, the African Orisha of the wind and storms, speaks inside her head and may have her own ulterior motivations. Soon, Creeper, Oya, and the crew of the Midnight Robber are pulled into a perilous mission aimed to stop the Black God's drums from being unleashed and wiping out the entirety of New Orleans. Or New Orleans, however you choose to say it. A sinewy mosaic of Haitian sky pirates, wily street urchins, and Orisha magic beguiling and bombastic New York Times best-selling author Scott Westerfield blurbed. So yeah, that is just pick number one. Pick number two is The Truth About a Witty by C.P. Patrick. This one is a historical fantasy. It is undisputed many tropical storms and hurricanes start off the coast of West Africa. There is a commonly held belief these natural disasters are not natural at all. Rather, these massive storms and the damage and fatalities they cause are intentional. Retaliation by restless spirits impacted by the transatlantic slave trade. Their destruction sweeping through the Middle Passage, Caribbean, and many southern slave-holding states. A witty is one of these spirits, but there is more to a witty than creating hurricanes. As those who have encountered her love and wrath will attest, there is so much more. The Truth About a Witty is a historical fantasy novel that will leave readers questioning the impact of the transatlantic slave trade on the physical and spiritual realms. Pick number two. Pick number three is My Sister, the Serial Killer by Oyinkan Braithwaite. Satire meets slasher in this short, darkly funny hand grenade of a novel about a Nigerian woman whose younger sister has a very inconvenient habit of killing her boyfriends. Femi makes three, you know, three, and they label you a serial killer. Koridi is bitter. How could she not be? Her sister, Ayola, is many things. The favorite child, the beautiful one, possibly sociopathic. And now, Oyula's third boyfriend in a row is dead. Koridi's practicality is the sister's saving grace. She knows the best solutions for cleaning blood, the trunk of her car is big enough for a body, and she keeps Oyula from posting pictures of her dinner to Instagram when she should be mourning her missing boyfriend. Not that she gets any credit. A kind, handsome doctor at the hospital where Koridi works is the bright spot in her life. She dreams of the day when he will realize they're perfect for each other. But one day, Oyula shows up to the hospital uninvited, and he takes notice. When he asks Koredi for Oyula's phone number, she must reckon with what her sister has become and what she will do about it. Sharp as nails and full of deadpan wit, Oyinkan Braithwaite has written a deliciously deadly debut that's as fun as it is frightening. Pick number three. So there you have it. Those are your three choices for the book of the month for January. Don't forget to go down to the description box below. The link for our Goodreads page is there. Please join our book club and vote for one of these three reads to become the book of the month for January. Obviously, the novel with the most votes will become our book of the month, which we will announce on our Goodreads page. So make sure that you follow and that you make sure that you're getting our messages and all of that good stuff so that you can keep up with us as we communicate with you guys via that page. Because I'm not sure if we will do a video announcement of our book of the month. So you will just need to kind of keep up with our Goodreads page 
and make sure that you are um, you are enabling all of your notifications for the book club and that way you can get to know what the book of the month is for January you can go out and inquire that book I definitely recommend you guys using your libraries if they have copies of these books if not there's always the e versions or you can even find the books I'm sure in bookstores and then we can begin to read together I'm so excited we will also be announcing when we will be having the January live show. You will have until Sunday, February 10th to read the book of the month for January once we have closed the poll after three days and we have decided which book is the winner. So don't forget to go down below, click on the link, go join the book club, go follow the Goodreads page, vote on your favorite book of the for the month of the month, <laughs> getting tongue tied, so that we can get this party started for January. So that's it for this video. I am so excited for this book club. I'm so excited for you guys to be on this journey with me and for us to be reading books together. This is definitely a new thing here on my channel, so I cannot wait for us to have these discussions once a month. And yeah, that's it. Definitely go check out the ladies that I will be hosting the book club with. Once again, that's Brittany from Melanin Eclectic and Troy Nicole from Cole's Book Corner. Definitely go check these ladies out to subscribe to their channels and we will catch you guys on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time to discuss Becoming Michelle. So that's it for this video you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'm so thrilled. I'm so... I can't even put it into words how excited I am for the future of this book club. Definitely go check it out. I would love for you to come on this journey with me and I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye, guys. <laughs> Since you want to be in this video so bad, okay? You want to be in this video so bad. Say hi to the people. Sorry, his paws are really dirty. We just went outside.